Minasan! Ohio Kanisha Oya Sumi, I'm Iris, and today we're watching episode 5 of Jujutsu Kaisen. Last episode, we had Gojo seeing the light. Um, he is a full fledged six eyed sorcerer now, and Toji he realized at the last moment, you know what? I should have just said, I'm not working for free, I should have went home, minded my business, but um. The good thing I liked is that they had him, you know, even though he was acting kind of funny about Megumi and like pretending like he didn't know who he was. I mean, not that he didn't know who he was, but that he couldn't remember his name. Um, I think someone explained that, you know, he had trouble after losing his wife and he distanced himself from people. And I think he did say that in his last moments. So I like that they brought it around where he basically kind of told gojo like look after my son because they about to sell him off to the zenin clan so um i'm very glad he did that because he ended up better for it so this episode i'm not sure where they're gonna go with this i think this is the last episode before they start the shibuya arc so yeah i'm just let's <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's still gonna be bad because Ghetto is still like last episode. I think I said in the comments at the the end credit scene where they showed him talking to Gojo and you know talking about like um what did what did they say? Oh, this is gonna annoy me. Um, cause he says having meaning and does it really matter? And Ghetto said something about like, it should matter for sorcerers, but they also showed like the camera kind of shifted at the same time. So it's kind of like, is his perspective changing? The, how he feels about uh, normal people or non-sorcerers like shifting a little bit. Um, so we already, we know that it does, but I think they're showing us like, he's starting to get in that headspace he's starting to question things starting to question you know what he believes in so yeah i'm excited let's just get right into the episode a year later hmm. That's crazy. Wow. His crazy his power is crazy, man. Which he's already figured out. Look his face. They were kind of equals at first, but now he's. Which is not good, because he was already having issues and being alone all the time. I was uh, just about to say, I think this whole part of the season has been all about him. Mm, he started resenting non sorcerers. That's sad. Sheesh, how they animated this is crazy. But they all they mentioned that as well, like Gojo when you know, the beginning of the first season, a lot of people can't handle being a sorcerer. It's too much. He started with that monkey stuff again. Well, probably the first time. Something's probably gonna happen to him and it's gonna make him snap. Cause I've never seen this guy. Bro look tired. Mm. 
自分はあまり物事を深く考えない立ちなので一杯頑張るのは気持ちがいいですそうか君がゲトウ君どんな女がタイプかな Oh gosh. Is this what's his name's sensei? <laughs> He's basically saying you don't know how to judge folks if you can't tell that I'm going through it right now. Right, the fact that he said you sit next to me and you don't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A good for nothing. That sounds crazy though. Because they're born from human emotions, so people can't. It's natural for people to have emotions, right? Okay, yeah, let us know. Okay. Control, curse energy. That'll be interesting to teach people if they can't even. I don't know. Wow, of course he went the most extreme. That's. How many actual sorcerers are there? You're saying killing millions, billions of people. Please tell me she realized that if she's a good judge of character, that so she's the one who gave him the idea. He already didn't like non sorcerers, but the, the part where he smiled when she said, Bro. Oh, okay. So she didn't get to, so they wanted to put that in there. She wasn't able to tell what kind of person he was because he didn't answer the question. See, when people start showing signs like this, they should not let them be sorcerers. Oh, this is when he saved those girls from the movie. Yes. So what did it? Wow. Okay, that's gonna make a lot of people snap. He's ready to kill him. Sheesh.
Because they were basically saying they were ready to kill those two girls. Even though he said he already fixed the situation. 112 residents. While he was gone. Oh my god. Wait, did they say he killed his own parents? They probably both blame themselves for not seeing what was going on. That's so bad. That's that's horrible, man. And he seems happy. Like at least I don't know if it's fake emotion smiling, but he ain't got bags on his eyes. He's not moping around. Is she calling Gojo? Yep. <laughs> oh, she said, I don't get paid for this. Let me go. Y'all handle it. Aww. He wants to hear from you. Yes. This, I'm glad he he didn't have no powers like Gojo sheesh it, he could make it possible yeah you're not arrogant see He's talking about how crazy that sounds, bro. He know he can do it. He don't want to kill innocent people. But that doesn't mean it should be done, is the point. That's so sad. Aww. And he let him go. Aww. That would be hard. Because then it's basically whatever he does after that is on your head because you didn't kill him. But it's your best friend. Yeah, y'all, now I gotta do it because I'm the strongest. Sheesh. <laughs> And he talked about that a little bit in the first season when he was talking about he could, when uh, Yuji died, he's like, I could kill all the higher ups, but it ain't gonna help nothing. People gonna replace them and people gonna be scared of me, people not gonna follow me, so it don't really help. And that's the one who went off the people that he hated. Let me make an example of you. Sheesh. Ew. <laughs> That is your own issue. Look at his face. <laughs> oh, Megumi is Megumi. Oh. He about to tell him the truth. 
Oh, that's not his um blood sister. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why that got me emotional. Uh, he said even he sleeps. Oh. Yeah, his kids. Y'all the next generation. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. So that was very good. Um. I knew with that premature death title, it was gonna be some nonsense. And the fact that uh, we had never seen that boy before, like, okay, obviously he probably died while they were still in school. But it literally took a year from Ghetto going from, you know, we need to protect the weak to, you know, them being monkeys and basically thinking that they need to kill or destroy all non-sorcerers to stop um curses from you know spreading around and it's just <sighs> i think like i said i think it's worse because which is unfortunate but because he was alone a lot of the times and it wasn't everybody was doing their own thing they're also trying to process what they're going on because it, they were too busy it's too many curses it's not enough sorcerers um their conrad their friends their peers are dying and all of them are going through th through things so i can't i'm not gonna try to blame anybody um but i'm sure they're probably blaming themselves because how can you not you're gonna be thinking if only i was there more only if i was you know asking him questions seeing how he was i'm sure his uh his uh i want to say sensei uh, he is a sensei um and also gojo like they're probably thinking you know if i just checked on him a little bit more to see his headspace and not just trying to figure my own stuff out maybe 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 what if you know um and it's just it's really sad um but like he said gojo said not everybody can handle this. Everybody needs a little crazy to be able to handle being a sorcerer. Um, and he's also, I think he just said in this episode something like, you know, you can only help who wants to be helped. My strength doesn't do anything because Ghetto can't be helped because his, he doesn't want any help. Um, there's nothing for me to do. And... Like I said, I explained the stuff that happened last season with him knowing people won't follow him if he just takes people out. Um, so, like he said, he wanted to bring up and nurture the next generation so they can be the leadership, they can be the higher ups that he wished he had um, and his friends. So yeah, I'm, this was a very, very good uh, prequel. I couldn't remember most of it. I knew Ghetto left. I knew something happened to the girl, but I couldn't remember what happened, how it happened. So this was a good little refresher. Um, so now we're about to get to the show. Booyah arc. Um, we all about to be emotional AF. I'm not ready. Um, this episode had me emotional. Just uh <laughs> Uh, all the stuff with Ghetto and then seeing Megumi. Oh, baby Megumi. Um, yeah. So, I, I don't know if this is really... I think they said it was going to be a break between this and the next arc. I'm not sure if that's true. But either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. Johnny!